Dangerous Drugs Board Chief Janisha Santiago submits a very brief resignation letter to the Office of the President after having a talk with Executive Secretary Salvador Mechaldea Monday. According to sources, Duterte was displeased by Santiago's statements about how the administration is handling the illegal drug problem. Santiago earlier said the Nueva Ecija Mega Drug Rehabilitation Center funded by Chinese tycoon Huang Rulun was a mistake. He said the rehabilitation center expected to house 10,000 patients is ineffective since it crowds suspects together while cutting their ties from support systems like their families. Santiago also said the rehabilitation center was impractical. He said, quote, that was a mistake. The problem is the president got excited, but the money could have been spent on small community-based rehabilitation programs that can accommodate only between 150 to 200 people. Santiago is the second DDB official to be fired for remarks about the Duterte administration's war on drugs policy. The person Santiago replaced, former DDB chief Benjamin Reyes, was also sacked by Duterte for giving the wrong number of drug users in the country. Duterte then said, quote, you do not contradict your own government. Santiago, a former Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency chief, is the official often quoted by Duterte as one of his sources for his claim that there are 4 million drug addicts in the country. This figure is critical in bolstering Duterte's narrative that this bloody war on drugs is necessary. Duterte supported the senatorial bid of Santiago in 2016, a bid which Santiago lost.